Big up to everyone. Very quick one. Check Intercorp right there. Anything that you need to write here in Spain, Intercorp is the great company to give you a great deal. So very quick one. This video, I'm driving your attention to latest update as far as African World Cup qualifiers are concerned and Ghana against Mali. I have latest updates right here for you. Ferry Canute spoke about the game, motivating the guy, former Mali player. Also, Seydou Keita as well also spoke about the game, motivating their guys to go all up against Ghana. And also, um, the Africa World Cup qualifiers, some of the matches going to be taking place today. I have all the details for you right here. And Mali, they are top defender, going to miss the game against um, Ghana tomorrow. I'm going to give you all the details you need to know about the reason why he's not going to play um, against Ghana. And also, Mali, they are top scorer doing very very well when it comes to the mali national team he have spoken so i have all the details for you right here on the winning unity platform so very quick one let's start from the uh, africa world cup qualifiers um today central africa republic gonna play against chat 5 p.m ghana time okay that is ghana group which i show you where you can watch all these matches and fifa plus you guess download it on your phone or your tablet or your tv and you're good to go very you watch and you enjoy the game okay so let's continue the the World Cup qualifiers in the african side today 5 p.m as well sierra leone gonna play against djibouti togo gonna play against Saint, uh, south sudan and La uh, namibia gonna play against liberia all these matches is 5 p.m ghana time tunisia gonna play against equatorial guinea that is 8 p.m. Ghana time, which you can see it on your screen as well. So, very quick one before, let's move to uh, Ferry Canute. Okay, Ferry Canute. A lot of people know who is Ferry Canute. Ferry Canute is a former uh, Mali international, play a, a lot of games for them, and also a Spanish La Liga person in Sevilla. He told the guys that they have to go all up and win the game. This is their chance to take Mali to the World Cup. And if they miss this time around, they don't know when. So they have to do their best possible to win the game against Ghana. And he said, when it comes to Ghana and, 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 and or when it comes to Mali and Ghana, uh, we both are peace, very peaceful country and these two countries never have problems. So they love Ghana so much. Ghana have a lot of players that can able to shock them, but he believed that if the boys able to motivate themselves, they're going to win the game and put them in a good position. The same, say Ducata as well. A lot of you guys know say Ducata, um, former Barcelona, Barcelona man. He also uh, spoke on motivating the guys that they have to do their best possible to win the game against Ghana tomorrow. That is what I am coming from say Ducata, uh, Ferry Canute, former Malian. So now, very quick one. Uh, Mali Abdoulaye Diaby. Abdoulaye Diaby is a top defender for Mali national team. He played in Switzerland, FC Sangali. His teammate is um, Loris Atizigi. They both play one, one, which you can see him right here. They both play one team. He had injury and he, he gets pick up injury on training ground yesterday and he's going to miss the game against Ghana. So take note on that. One of the top defenders, he's not going to play against Ghana tomorrow. That is, uh, yes, Abdullahi Diaby. Abdullahi Diaby, he picked an injury yesterday, so he's not going to play the game against Ghana. For, for us, um, for them, it is a bad news, but for us, it is a good news as usual. So that is the latest, fresh one I have for you right here on the Winning Unity platform. Let's move on to some of the players um, also spoken um, earlier today about the game against um, Ghana. And this player right here, he play uh, observe on the French League 2, doing very well. He scored eight goals this season. He contributing a lot to the team and they promote the team from second division to um, French League 1. They're going to play French League 1 next season. And yes, next season. So his teammate is Gideon Mensah. So Gideon Mensah um, know him very, very well. And Eli Sohusu as well. They, they both play in one club in the French League too. Okay. When they come, that is no way he's going to miss the game 
a side injury, no matter what, he's going to play the game tomorrow against Ghana. So he has spoken. I will allow you to watch the video, but um, let me. He say uh, they are happy uh, to return back to Mali national team again, and they are ready to win the game. He say. For past some years now, Mali have shown to the world that they are capable of beating. And he went on to say, he is not just saying this, but they are going to prove it to everyone coming on tomorrow, more, uh, tomorrow um, Thursday. They're going to prove it that Mali is capable of beating. And he said, they're going to welcome Ghana. They are ready to welcome Ghana and they're going to do their best possible as God will. They're going to do their best possible to beat Ghana. Yeah. And yeah. So not to take much of your time. Let me uh, let's watch the video together. And you need to pay attention of the translation I'm putting right there because he speaks French so that you can understand everything perfectly by yourself. So yeah. On est très content de revenir au pays, de revoir tout le monde. Tout le monde sait que tout le monde aime le Mali ici et tout le monde est prêt à se battre. Donc là, on se retrouve entre coéquipiers, on se remet au boulot et on est prêt à accueillir le Ghana et on va tout faire pour gagner. Ouais, c'est sûr, okay. personnel, on a, quand on est attaquant, on veut toujours marquer. Donc euh, j'espère qu'on va marquer, s'il plaît à Dieu, et qu'on va gagner et tout le monde sera content. Ouais, c'est sûr, à chaque fois que je joue pour le Mali, j'ai à cœur de rendre fier tout le monde. Et là, quand je vois l'engouement, tous les supporters qui sont derrière moi, ça me donne encore plus de force. Et Niala Sanama, on va tout faire, je vais tout faire pour briller et on va gagner, Inch'Allah. Bah, c'est ça, comme tout le monde a pu le voir à la Cannes, on a, on a bien joué, malheureusement, à la des maçons. Mais c'est comme ça, le football, on a bien joué, on a montré à l'Afrique, à tout le monde, qu'on était une grande équipe et on va le prouver ce jeudi contre le Ghana. Non, on sait que le Ghana, ça a toujours été une grosse nation, c'est une très grosse nation de football. Donc euh, on, est, on est tous concentrés, on travaille à fond et on sait que si on ne met pas tous les ingrédients, bah, ça va être compliqué. Donc c'est pour ça que tout le monde se met au boulot, tout le monde est focus, concentré, le coach est derrière nous. Et en tout cas, si, si on ne réussit pas, on sera à 100%, donc on, on va réussir. Et moi, Bamlaga pour le public sportif malien. Bamlaga, ça va être Ok, on va faire ça. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh... When it comes to the Mali national team, um, there is no way he's going to miss. He will be playing um, the game tomorrow. No matter what, I don't see him. Um, he's one of the players that are like uh, Mohamed Kourouz in Ghana. He's always very good when it comes to the Mali national team. Also, this guy was also... Um, Amadou Hadara also spoke in. Um, this guy, he also spoke about the game um, against Ghana tomorrow. He said, this, this player you see right here, he played in German Bundesliga, RB Leipzig, and I'm expecting him to start as well. He's always starting some of the games in Mali, so I'm expecting him to start. He said, they're going to do their best possible to win the game against Ghana tomorrow. They know that Ghana have a very, very good team, and when it comes to Ghana, or when it comes to African football, you cannot talk of African football without mentioning the name of Ghana. And everybody know that he is not the person to, to say it, but everybody is aware, even the Mali fans, the Mali people and the journalists that interviewed him, that is what they said. They said they are aware that when it comes to Ghana food, uh, African football, Ghana is one of the powerhouse. But they're not going to look at that side, they're not going to look up the big names that Ghana have, but they're going to do their best possible. Um, to put smile of Ghana and Mali um, fans face and they are also pleading the fans to come on their numbers to show their support so that they can able to get that maximum three point um, against Ghana coming on tomorrow yes so that is the latest I have for you concerning the Mali national team camp Mali uh, their FA also spoke about in some of their fans um, pleading all their fans to come up tomorrow to support the team so that they can beat Ghana. Um, they say when it comes to um, meeting Ghana, person when it comes to World Cup and African Cup, according to them, they say Ghana know how to play this kind of World Cup qualifiers and African Cup of Nation. 
qualify. So playing against Ghana, no matter what Ghana do not have team, Ghana will always find a way to win. But they are not looking into that. They're going to play their normal game and make sure that they do their best possible to get that three maximum point against Ghana um, tomorrow. So the match is going to be here. Before I go on for other details with you right here, the match is not going to be easy game. A uh, Windy Unity Platform team um, was doing analysis back in Nigeria and I've seen a lot of people saying that, well, you guys are Nigeria, that is why you have to talk about it. If Ghana beat, uh, if Mali beat Nigeria, that do not mean that they will beat Ghana. Well, you see, if you are Ghanaian, you will not base on some certain things. You will just look at your country, but someone that is not a Ghanaian and maybe the person is being somewhere, he is the one can know the truth. He is the one can see the fact and where is wrong and where is not. So I win the Unity Platform team analysis wasn't wrong. Was absolutely 100% on point because Mali, they have a very good team. So Ghana need to go there and approach the team, uh, very, the game very, very well if we want to win the game. So let me go back and give you this again. You, do you remember uh, I give my possible starting lineup for Ghana and I also give my possible starting lineup for Mali last few days, few, a few days. Let me run you through again. This was my possible starting lineup. I said Utuado have to prove approach against uh, Mali. My possible starting lineup was a lot of statistics on post. The right back Ali Desiru, the left back Gidon Mensa, the center backs is Alexander Jiku alongside Mohamed Salasu. The front two Thomas Pate and Salim Abdul Samed, which you can see it on your screen as well. Jordan Ayu on the right. Uh, Kamal Din Suleiman on the left, Mohamed Kudus on the number 10 row, and Antoine Semenyon leading the attack. And I seen Sun on this, my possible starting lineup. And let me tell you, that is the two things right here. I'm seeing a lot of um, fans still debating when it comes to Ali Dusidu and Tarek Lamte. And a lot of people prefer Tarek Lamte than Ali Dusidu. Some people also prefer Ali Dusidu. But let me break it down right here for you the reason why i prefer ali Rishiro on this game these two uh, right backs they are both a great right backs okay but here is the difference between ali Rishiro and tarek lamte or tarek lamte and ali Rishiro. these two uh, right back if otoado want to attack the game tomorrow he want goals and he want to attack against mali he's confident that he can attack against mali away then Ali Rusiru will not come in my certain lineup. Ali Rusiru, it is Tarek Lamte that will come in. Why? Because if you want to play attacking game, you can use Ali Rusiru. Because Ali Rusiru is a kind of a player that normally defend deep. But Tarek Lamte is a kind of player that normally he go deep and he can cross very well. He can even get chance to score goals. Tarek Lamte. But if you are going to defend, the, to defend. Maybe Otoado want to say, okay, I'm playing away. I don't want to take a risk. I want to defend. If I get a goal, fine. If I do not get goal, I will be happy to defend and come back home. Then that is where Ali Dusedu will be coming in. So that is my main reason why I started Ali Dusedu. Because when you look at this Mali team, they are very, very good. They are very, 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 very good. Because they translate from their... their players from under under 20s and the 17 to their national team and these players they know each other very well so they are very fast they are very quick they are very they are strong physically so using Tarek Alam Tarek Lamte if you do not really have the great defenders to back to support it will always be problem because Tarek Lamte when you go deep coming back is always is a big problem so that is my main reason why I think that Ali Rusiru is perfect man to uh, start that the game why because he can defend more than Tarek Lamte but if Otoado want more goals or he want to score goals then Ali Rusiru I will not be surprised that Tarek Lamte will be coming in for Ali Rusiru Tarek Lamte will be starting the game that is my possible yeah and when you talk about Abdul Mumuni I don't see Abdul Mumuni coming in for uh, Alexander Juku because Alexander Alexander Juku is in fine form. If he's fully fit, he's gonna start. And I'm 
hoping for Salim Abu Samay to sat. If Salim Abu Samay do not sat and um, Joron Opoku sat, I do not have a problem at all. He's in fine form uh, with the Turkey Super League. He did very well. He can score goals. He can defend well. He's very tall. So if you end up starting tomorrow ahead of Mohamed Salazu, I have no problem at all. In fact, any player that I have a chance to start for Ghana tomorrow, I'm fully confident. If the player do not believe those players for the first place, why does he have to invite them to the national team? So far as he invite them to the national team, then he believe in them. Aside the new players, I'm, don't, I'm not expecting player like um, Ibrahim Suleiman to start because he's just a young player and a new player. That's the only player that I would be surprised if he sat the game. Aside him, every player can sat. And here was the Mali possible starting lineup as well. I give you. You can see it on your screen. Um, Diara and the left back going to be Tayore, who play in the, uh, the Spanish La Liga. Um, Ria Susudat. And the left back going to be another Diara, who play in Toulouse, doing very well. And. Nikata also play in a Portuguese league, Braga, and also uh, Kuyate playing in Montpellier, doing very, very well. That is the defenders. And Mohamed Kamara, Mohamed Kamara in uh, uh, Monaco, also doing very well. And this uh, Dara, he plays football in RB Lazik. You can see it on, you can see the lineup. The possible starting lineup I put yes I put last few days, and Kuyate no, Kota is going to play on the, the left wing. It depends how they want to use their lineup. And Kulibali play the Italian Serie A. He going to be there. And Kamori Dombia, the number ten, who spoken about the game yesterday as well. And Sina Sina Yoko. The, the player that you just watch um, his interview right now, he is going to lead him the attack. Maybe if a little bit surprised or maybe players that I'm expecting, you know, they have uh, aside this striker that I guess uh, you guys listen to him for some few. Uh, I saw you the interview here. He scored eight goals in the team and they have another striker who scored eight, nine goals. He played the UAE league. I'm not expecting him to start. Tough man, I'm not expecting him to start. Guess what? He's doing very well, but I'm not expecting him to start. The only players that are, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like maybe they more, they may end up starting the game. Okay, let me give you player that I feel like maybe they could end up starting the game tomorrow when they come to the striker side. Okay, um, this player. You are seeing right here, he plays football in Spanish La Liga, Cadiz. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Cadiz. Possible. He, he, he is one of them that I'm expecting that maybe the possible certain liner I put right here. Maybe if the, the coach will remove someone, maybe this player as a midfielder, he will possible may start. Another player that I'm expecting that maybe he could end up starting when it comes to the, the strikers. Okay, when they come to the strikers, this player Tayuri, the Atlanta, he play Atlanta. The striker is doing very well. He may end up starting the game. And also uh, Musa Diaby as well. Okay, Musa Diaby, probably he may end up starting the game. This is the player that I feel like maybe they may end up starting the game tomorrow against Ghana. So yeah, that is what I have for you right here on the Winning Unity platform. Um, keep um, following. We're going to be giving you all details you need to know about Ghana Black Stars against Mali and all the African World Cup qualifiers. Also, Ghana, after this game, Ghana will play against Comoros. Everything that you need to know, all the details, we're going to be giving you right here on the Winning Unity platform. So, thank you very much. Whatever you may be watching the Winning Unity platform from, what a Ghana, UK. Canada, America, France, Holland, Nigeria, Gambia, and Belgium, Spain, Australia, whatever you're watching, a really unity platform from. Thank you very, very, very much once again and one love.